Hello and welcome to part one of my mouse tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to rotate your camera according to your to the position of your mouse. So I will type this code just for your convenience. Let's start and begin. Here, I'm just going to create a plane and position it at negative one on the y-axis. Just wait a bit while I write this code. Entity plane, comma zero, comma negative one, comma zero. And I will create a cube marker. Cube checkpoint, I should say. Just name it checkpoint. And I will create out uh, that cube with our checkpoint. And I will position it. Position entity checkpoint. Checkpoint, not checkpoint. Uh, not and not check point. So point, comma zero, comma zero, comma twenty. Just position that, and let's just color it to give it some kind of style, I guess, just to make it they like, put it different. Check point. There we go. Comma. Let's just make it a kind of greenish bluish color. So just color it to tell it apart, and now if we run our program, just show you how it looks quickly. We have just our bluish, greenish cube, and we have our plane. So, just exit out of that. And now we get to our mouse controls, yeah. So, in the wild. Oh yeah, and before I start, I just want to say, for instance, if you have a variable live, and you set it equal to 1, then the value of lives is just a whole number, it's an integer type. And if we have, like, lives pound, that means the lives can now hold something like one point blah, 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 to the right of our decimal point. So that means if you have a pound sign after your variable name, that means it can hold values to the right of our decimal point. That's just a quick reminder there. So now let's create a variable. Uh, no, yeah. no, that would actually work pretty fine. Mouse x. Mouse x speed. This just gives us our mouse x coordinate speed and let's set it equal to its original value plus the mouse x speed isn't that handy <laughs> and all that does is just adds on the mouse x speed onto our original variable each single time it moves that's just a quick reference to that and mouse y speed is equal to mouse y speed plus as you guessed not muse but mouse y speed uh, plus mouse y speed. So yeah, that's it. That's basically all it does here. And it, now we have our two variables that are very handy. And now we need to set up some restrictions for them so our screen won't flip and anything won't happen. Any crazy decentering of our camera will happen. So to do that, and please note, I, I'm using an 800 by 600 screen width. width so now let's just make a couple of statements. So let's do our mouse x speed first. If mouse x speed is greater than 360 degrees, then set mouse x speed equal to 0 degrees. And if mouse x speed is less than 0 degrees, then set the mouse x speed equal to 360 degrees. So 360 degrees is a full circle, as you know, around the x-axis. So that all that says is that if it's greater than 316, then just revert it back to zero. So if we just hold our mouse on the left side, keeps rotating and rotating and rotating in 360 degree circles. Now for our y-axis, it would be a bit different, since we need to set up some restrictions so our sc whole screen won't flip. So if, <coughs> sorry, if mouse y speed is going to be greater than 80 degrees, then just keep it at 80 degrees and if our mouse y speed is less than negative 80 degrees then just keep it at negative 80 degrees with just some restrictions I set up and now we just need to make our camera rotate by our mouse y, mouse x speed and the mouse y speed and to do that just write rotate entity camera comma mouse y speed and negative value of mouse x speed and none on the z axis just on the x and y axis so that's all it does it's 
going to rotate our camera on our mice mouse y speed and our uh, on in our negative mouse x speed. So if we run this program now, and I'm just going to position it here. Now you can see that you can rotate through our scene just using our mouse. And that's pretty cool. Just a standard FPS mouse rotation. So if we exit out of that, there's still a couple of commands I need to show you. It's hide pointer. And all this does is hide the mouse when it hovers over the screen. And there's also another the command move mouse. And move mouse just keeps it our mouse regulated at a certain degree on our screen. So we can't move it anywhere else, and we can't move it off the screen. And it just regulates it on the X and Y axes that are currently 100, 100. So let's just run that. And, oh yeah, well, it, fix my, it fixes my mouse right away So and onto the screen. So I'm just going to have to position my camera here. Press F5. And now, apparently I can show you. You don't see my mouse. And... No matter how much I move it, I can't get onto the exit button. So, yeah. And you can try to delete the high pointer command, and you'll see that your mouse is just stuck in one position. The only way to exit out of this is to press the exit key. And, yeah. That's all. And that was just really quick. And now, just to add some kind of random twist, I, I just want to show you another command. It's called, you know, like... You're probably thinking how to get a mouse button down. So it's not key down, it's mouse down. And now you're thinking, what mouse button are you talking about? So mouse button down one in brackets is our left. My mouse button two is our right. Right mouse button and three is our scroll wheel. So let's see if uh, let's have uh, when our scroll wheel is pressed, let's move us forward a bit. Then move entity camera, which will move our camera relative to our position, so it makes this work. Let's just move it a tiny degree on our z-axis. Just run that, F5. Oh yeah, and it, I'm just going to, it's too annoying to have our move mouse and hide pointer commands while I'm just showing you something, and this isn't a real game, so it won't damage it in any way. Hit, hit F5. And now, we can move through our screen, and if we Go, oh well, that was a bit too quick, I think. Let's try something like 0, 5. Hit F5 again. And now, let's try going up here and hit our scroll wheel. And we can slowly move toward the direction that we're facing. In this case, it's the cube. There we go, we haven't set up any collisions, as you know can rotate back to the cube. That's why it just messed up graphics here. You can go below the plane, or we can slowly, steadily rise above. So, yeah. That was basically it for part one of my mouse move tutorials. And this is a standard way of using it in your FPS games. So, thanks guys, and see ya.